Hey what's up guys, I'm Diogo from Protein Gaming and there was a huge update to the Shad PS4 emulator in regards to Bloodborne. That's why I'm doing this a bit different today, we'll be doing a live gameplay just to show you the massive improvements in performance that we are seeing with this new PR from Raphael the Great, or as they call it, Turtle. We'll be doing some live gameplay in the different resolutions and you'll see how much better it actually performs at 1440p and 4K. There are some people who actually posted here in the comments, see, went from 31 FPS at 4K with a 4090 to 6071. And also here, you see this guy? You got 60 FPS with 94 utilization and then 60 FPS with 43% utilization. So just the difference is staggering before 75 F fps here and now 119 fps see the huge difference and now i'll be showing you my differences with my rtx 4060 with an i5 12 1400 f i believe so let's take a look let's just open shed ps4 the qt launcher this is the turtle 2 version the basically the, the latest version from this pr and uh, well, let's just try it out. We'll start with this one. Actually, let's start with the 12.5 at 1440p or 4K. We can start with 4K and you'll see how bad it performs in 4K. So let's just open it. Well, we got an immediate crash, so perfect. Let's go again. You see this absolutely great performance. 7 FPS, 8 FPS. The RAM is super overloaded and I think the performance is so low because of that. Now let's try the turtle build and let's see how much better it looks. Changing to the turtle one, still at 4K, let's run it again. Look, look at the difference, from 8 FPS with a VRM overload to now 46 FPS at 4K. I know I'm using the, some performance mods, but I was just trying actually to make the, the main build version perform a little bit better as not to consume as much VRAM. But as you can see, even with the mods, it doesn't really well work at 4K. But using this latest work, you see 46 FPS at 4K, that's just impressive. So now, let's try 1440p. Let's go ahead and try 1440p with the main build version. As you can see, we have 44 FPS, so the same amount of frames uh, as it was before in 4K. So you have the 1440p on the main build at 45, 43-45 FPS, and then you have at 4K the turtle work at the same FPS. So that's awesome. Now let's check out turtle's work at 1440p. Let's switch back to turtle, and it's so easy. God bless this QT launcher. Just to confirm, 1440p once again. Let's go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> see see the huge difference we went from 45 fps to 85 86 87 sometimes it hits 90 just look it's basically double the frame rate how how did we get here so fast with just this simple fix or this simple no i'm it's not simple i mean his work must be super complex but just from this pr from him we see we're seeing double the frames at higher resolutions at 1440p just imagine with a 4060 this my gpu isn't even top of the line so imagine a 50 90 or something pushing like 200 fps maybe but actually let's try all the different resolutions well let's stop at 720p at least but let's try 1080p because the lower you go the less benefits you should see because it will push more of the cpu and if this issue i guess kind of um, gets re rid of some bottlenecks from the gpu but let's go once again and actually to note i'm on the dlc on purpose because the DLC is much heavier than the main game in a lot of areas. So, as you can see, 1080p, 65 FPS, well, <laughs> we are lower than the amount of frames we're getting at 1440p for the other work from Turtle. So, let's go back, switch to Turtle, confirm once again for you to see, 1080p, let's go back again. Just look, I mean, look at the difference, 100, 107, 102 from 60 FPS in the main build, it's like 40 extra FPS. And actually, remember that this will be super useful when you think of, for example, lossless frame generation. The more headroom you have, the more you can get from the lossless frame generation from that tool. So we have 100 FPS, if we lock this to 60 and use and use uh, the frame generation it will be much better than it was before but let's try 720p for a final test switch to main sheets patches 720p let's go actually And let's go, 720p, let's try it on the main build. Man, look at this text. <laughs> look at the performance, we're only getting 78, 75, 80 FPS, okay. But we are still getting less than the amount of frames we, we were getting for 1440p, I, I believe, so... <laughs> Let's switch over to Turtle's work once again. Confirm the 720p, and let's go. I mean, look, it's not as much of a difference as it was before, because we are still, we are getting like CPU bound here, but still, man, this is where it, the limit goes, but still a bit better performance than the main build. So if you have a good enough GPU at 1440p, you can play the game, you can play the game at actually really good frames. So this is just impressive work. And now actually there's one 
final test that we can try. We can use lost scaling that I have here. And uh, let me put this one as fixed. Multiplier 2. And then using River Tuner, let me put the limit to 60 FPS. And now, let's put this at 1080p. And then we'll use lossless scaling with it. Okay. Let it yeah, compose. 60 FPS. Now let's activate lossless scaling. And now let me actually enable the FPS counter. Where is it? Draw, draw FPS here. See, 120 smooth, smooth frames. Just working as intended. Super smooth. Super smooth, actually. Look at this. And now, let's actually try. 1440p with lossless scaling. And yeah, let's see. Okay, still getting 60 FPS, let it compose, let me just spin around for the first stutters, and now let's activate it. See, even, even at 1440p we are getting 60 FPS and frame generating to 120. And since you are on a higher resolution, I believe the, the frame generation will work even better. So. Man, turtle, great work, impressive stuff. Well, I wish I could buy you a beer. <laughs> so, impressive work, man. And if you guys enjoyed this video, well, do like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want me to try out anything, and have a good one. See you.